Today we have some sports scores and a special story about an NHS teacher. It's looking like a great show today, so sit back and get ready because NHS Update starts now. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to the show. I'm Ms. Trelor. And I'm Mrs. Bussler. Now for some announcements. If you plan on parking on campus after the seniors graduate, please bring a copy of your license and registration to Mrs. Colosimo in the main office. You must have an official spot in order to park on campus. Next up, we have a special story to play. Earlier this year, Cosblad High School junior Jake Watts traveled to Norwood as part of a student exchange program. While he was here, he bonded with our very own Mr. Brunt over the sport of surfing. So here's the story Jake produced about our resident surfer teacher and my personal friend, Mr. Brunt. I, um, I started surfing when I was a really young kid. You know, there's not a lot of great waves in Florida. Um, they're pretty small, but you know, being a little kid and I lived sort of close to the beach and uh, the first time that I caught waves um, was just such a meaningful experience. After that, like, I just knew this is something that I'm going to do for the rest of my life. It was a big deal to, for me to, as a surfer to move from Florida where I can be in a pair of trunks and I can live that beach lifestyle. It was a pretty big deal, you know, for me to leave that and leave that he did when he moved to Hull, Massachusetts to pursue his career as a teacher in broadcast journalism. But the change in weather couldn't keep him out of the water. Oh, gosh, so there's an extra level to surfing in Massachusetts during the cold months. I've thrown up in the water from being too cold. Um, I've gotten ice cream headaches so bad that it gave me a migraine. I'm covered head to toe. You know, I have a hood on, gloves. My gloves and boots are seven millimeters. Um, but the kind of wetsuits that I have to wear, the kind of gear that I have to wear just to get in the water is, um, it's a step above. Even though surfing in the cold frontier is tough, it provides a rare opportunity to surf good waves without a crowd. The plus to that is that there's not a lot of dudes. Sometimes I surf perfect waves all by myself. Um, and surfing in the snow is a pretty cool experience, especially for a guy from Florida. Um, I have these sessions, the, the classic winter sessions, at least three or four times a year, where I just, I gotta pinch myself, man. I'm like the only dude out. It's like blue water, the sun's out. Um, nobody's in my way. I'll catch like 30 waves in like an hour. Um, and the only thing is that it's cold. In spite of the harsh conditions, Jeb Brunt still finds a way to overcome them and continue his passion of surfing. He is one of the rare few that can call a snowy climate a home break. Reporting for CHSCV with footage shot in Norwood, Massachusetts, I'm Jake Watts. Thanks, Jake, and we hope you get some great waves this summer. Okay, now it's time for some scores and game times. So here's Senior Dean Mr. Garzinski with your sports update. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Mr. G here with your sports update. Yesterday, girls lacrosse lost at North Alabama. Baseball and girls tennis beat Ashland, while softball beat Westwood. Today for sports, baseball and softball both take on Hopkinton away, and boys tennis has a match against Ashland at home. That's all I have for today. For more Mustang sports content, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Ustang Sports, and check us out, ustangs.com. Now back to the desk. Well, that's all we have for today. Don't forget to check us out online at mustang.media or hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We'll see you next time. Have a great day, Mustangs.